good as this, a matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be showing you the welterweight championship between Bruce and Butter Bean. I hope you guys will like it. While you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now to get us Ladies started, here gentlemen, is Bruce This Buffett. is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. It's in the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Vicious. UFC belt online, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your phone. start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting, and it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. 
unable to land with that punch. Powerful leg kick lands. job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Right hand upstairs. Beautiful body kick. They continue to exchange. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Nice kick. Lee's kick attempt there blocked. All right, single collar tie now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, massive kick to the head. Big right hand there. <laughs> Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Great punch. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. You got the turtle in that kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Ooh, blocks the shot. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, this might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. What a body kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Lee. Nice leg kick. Final seconds. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice.
Good place kick there by Lee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Good stick. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot land. Look at how tough the corner is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Good timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh! Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh! Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Lee. Back to the feet now. Lee's keeping those feet in perpetual motion, circling to his right now. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shit into his opponent. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Connects with a right. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful leg kick throw. Beautiful straight counter. That right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Cable inches right there, right there boy. Man. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, that's a nice strike. Just missed with the straight left hand. Beautiful hook. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Just misses there with the left. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Liver kick. Back and forth we go! Nice. Move and recover. Move and recover. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lee's cheek looks like it's cut here. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Nice punch there. Another shot lands upstairs. 20 seconds to go. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Round three next. 
All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Real sneaky body kick. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Right at the elbow. Some nice back and forth action here. Song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Oh, big punch land. Just missing on the high kick there. Just over three minutes to go. Nice kicks there, by the way. Slips. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh, nice. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, man, that cut is nasty. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. He gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. And he is back up to his feet. Here. 
20 seconds now remain in the round. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. And there he is, our UFC welterweight champion of the world. He's gonna like the sound of that, getting it done with style points by way of knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop for this contest at four minutes, 48 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. DC, you know what it's like to get so over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week, he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia, presenting the challenger, Vicious. And now he's the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee.
All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fight. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe this is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? If Lee gets caught with that punch, he'd be wise to get those hands up. Superman punch. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Misses with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big kick. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they're fighting behind it real well. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Big shot land. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, a nice knee. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Three minutes to go. Here instead, it's turned away by Lee. Liver kick. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Ooh, head kick land. Hip into that leg kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big falls to punch land. Now he gets back to range. Looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. 
So a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target, DC. The kickboxing is on point tonight. He's so sharp, and he feels so good that he's throwing multiple kicks in a row. 20 seconds to go. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Nice punch by Lee. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, and he lands another punch. He has got it all going tonight. He's got it all going. He's landing those over and over again. Timed and placed. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, nice. every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, and he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Buckled him earlier in the fight, and the fighter is still open to damage there as he continues to target that sensitive area. Big punch. It's effective the straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Single collar tie now. Just over three minutes now to go. Missed with that attempt. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Slips. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Good stick. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. No wasted motions on those kicks. There's no tell. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Can't take many of those, you better check. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. 
just misses with the straight right. That kick blocked by Lee. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Seconds remain in round two. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. A lot of high level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready? You ready? Go, Here guys, we go. go, third round of this championship fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just misses with the punch by Lee. It's such a fast leg kick. Just missed with the left there. Whoa! Whoa! Dude's hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Oh, oh, Rosa, go, oh! Significant strike attempt there, goes to the spinning kick, but he misses. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Liver kicks, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, man, head kick lands. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. All right, single collar tie now. And he caught the kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Head kick. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Nice punch man over the top. Nice combination of strikes there by Lee. Tie there. And he comes knee, through with a big knee. knee hurt him. Nice. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. 
Throws the right hand there. It's messed up really bad. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Big knee there to the chest. Oh, straight right. Hip over when he throws that kick. And that's gonna do it! It's over! It's over! Oh my goodness, what a fight! Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So, somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. And there he is, folks, a man who needs no introduction, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a flurry of strikes it was to set up the eventual TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, 59 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still. So there